Good morning and welcome to day four, Wednesday morning, of Life of a Donor, a six-part series on organ donation and how we're going to get Curtis a kidney. Uh, today we have uh, Shelly, Curtis's wife. Good morning, Shelly. Good morning. And we also have Wendy, who is also uh, an organ donor as well. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning. So today we're going to talk about that subject that everybody wonders about, like when they got to go to the hospital, you know, what is it going to be like? How long am I going to be there for? Is it going to hurt? Um, so we'll start off with you, Shelley. What was your, your experience with uh, the whole day at the hospital and your stay? So I was at St. Paul's in Vancouver and I arrived at 530 in the morning on uh, Monday. And everybody was so reassuring, the nurses, my surgeon, uh, he even asked if I was tired, told him, doesn't matter as long as he's not, and had the surgery, and he told me after three hours approximately it would be, that it would then be Curtis's turn. When I was being wheeled to my room, I actually saw my mom sat up and waved. Don't know if I was supposed to be doing that or not, but that's what I did. And I was only there three nights, and the pain was so minimal. It wasn't even an issue whatsoever. Um, when I came home the next day, I was watering plants, going to the dollar store, which may not be a draw for everybody to give a kidney, but that was yeah, what I was choosing yeah, we to just, do. We just need to clarify, it's not an actual side effect to kidney donation wanting to go to a dollar <laughs> store or a Walmart. True, or like yes. true. Um, I did need to have um, no driving, so I did have a ride to go to my dollar store. And there was no driving for me for two weeks, so I respected that. Oh, so kind I of just, like Miss Daisy. There you go, yes. Um, four weeks I took off work, um, but I didn't find it necessary at all. I was ready to go back after a couple of weeks. However, I had already booked off, so I took the time. I was painting spindles, got a lot done. For me, it really was a piece of cake. Everything was so minimal. And now 10 years later, there haven't been any health repercussions whatsoever from only having one kidney. Well, so that's, very that's easy. Good. That's good. Yeah. And, uh, and like we've always said, uh, the only repercussion that you may have is that those spindles will need to be painted again. Absolutely. Um, so Wendy, yours was, yours was not done in British Columbia. Yours was done in another province. Tell us about that. Yeah, I went to Saskatoon in 2005. My recipient was my mom who lived in Saskatoon and uh, I had all my screening done in Vancouver at the BC Transplant Agency, and uh, it was it was a breeze. Uh, it was mm -hmm. quick, and I didn't. Um, yeah. Anyway, I went to Saskatoon. I was in the hospital for seven days, but only because I was from out of town. The day of the surgery, I went in, and I or I was with my mom and my sisters, and uh, my husband went uh, with me to the OR and walked me to the door and the. I, I said to him, like, if anything terrible happens, let them take the rest of my organs, but don't tell them ahead of time. <laughs> so then um, the surgery, I remember having the epidural and then and getting a sedative and um, it was over before I knew it. I woke up and uh, the surgeon told me that uh, my mom was responding already to the, the new kidney and was doing great. And yeah, everything was, was really, really good, easy. No pain, well, no pain. I mean, it was hardly any pain. I was on Tylenol the next day and I was up walking that night, so. Mm -hmm. And with regards to going out to Saskatoon, uh, who funded that? BC Transplant paid for my flight and um, yeah, everything else. It was, I stayed with my family, so I didn't need any hot hotel, so. Okay. No, I mean, those are all good points. I mean, your, your, your experiences are very similar. The, the issue of pain was, was not there. Uh, your recovery times were, were quicker than what you had anticipated to be. And, mm -hmm. and today, uh, how do you, how do you ladies feel today? I feel fine. No, no different whatsoever. Wendy? I same. I feel really good. I, I'm still active. I exercise mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, for those people that are watching and you're considering a, a, a donation, uh, an organ donation, uh, if this isn't enough information for you, uh, you can go to my website, uh, mikestarchuk.com, and you can click on the green ribbon and it'll take you uh, to the links that are out there to talk about organ donation. And there are previous uh, YouTube videos that so you can go to my YouTube channel. Uh, and take a look at those ones that are there and, and share the videos and, and subscribe to the channel and tell your friends about it. 
at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is we're trying to shake that tree just to get one kidney mm. to follow. And if somebody signs up and uh, their organ donation card gets filled up and somebody else benefits from it, that's great as well. So thank you uh, to very much uh, for, for what you've done uh, and what you've done for your family members. And uh, tomorrow on uh, day five, uh, we're going to explore the, the, the last details that are coming forward. And then, on, of course, on Friday, we wrap it up with uh, this is why we want you to donate. So thank you guys very much. Goodbye. Thanks, Mike. Bye-bye.